Grieving mom texts her dead son's phone, then someone texts her back. The bond between a mother and her children is something unbreakable. No matter what happens, the unconditional love that a mother has for her children is always going to be strong. Today we are going to show you a tear-jerking story about a mother who lost her son and tried to text him as a way to cope with the pain and to her surprise, someone answered. Our story is about Taylor Thiefault who dreamed about dedicating his life to saving others since he was a little boy. While other kids were dreaming about video games, Taylor was thinking about ways to make the world a better place. Taylor always wanted to join the army and try to make a difference in the world ever since he was a little kid, and this is exactly what he did when he came of age. By the time he was 21 years he was already a veteran. The man on the right is Taylor Thiefault. As you can clearly see, his mother Carol Adler is really proud of his accomplishments. The next picture will show you something amazing. Carol Adler says that her son has never looked better than the first day he got dressed in the U.S. Army uniform. She was happy that her son was accomplishing his dreams, but as all mothers do, she always was worried for him. Carol Adler and Taylor Thiefault had a special relationship. The two would spend lots of time together, and they talked to each other just like best friends do. When got out of the army. As soon as Taylor Thiefault got out of the army, he enlisted to become a trooper. The man still wanted to serve his country in any way he could. Unfortunately, something terrible was about to happen to him. Taylor Thiefault and his partner were patrolling the highway when they received a call about a speeding driver that didn't want to stop. Taylor and his partner were told to set up spikes on the road so that they could stop the driver. Sadly, the speeding driver tried to avoid the spikes and hit them instead. Taylor Thiefault was rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately, he didn't make it. As Carol was crying and sobbing because her beloved son passed away, his partner told her that her son actually warned him about the speeding car so that he had enough time to get away instead of saving his own life. Even though Carol was heartbroken and she didn't know how to deal with the death of her son, she was glad to know that he died doing what he loved the most, saving others. Carol was heartbroken for months and she couldn't even get out of the house. She didn't know what to do in order to cope with her son's death. Tyler Thiefault received the honorary memorial that he deserved and Carol Adler was glad to see that her son was so loved in the police force. She knew that she did a great job raising him. As she was thinking of a way of coping with the pain of losing her beloved son, and she came up with a rather strange idea to help her grieve. Carol used to text a lot with her son, and she decided to send him a few texts. This way she could take some of the weight of her heart and maybe help her feel better. Carol Adler sent the message, and she was already feeling better. A couple of minutes passed, and she received a text back. She couldn't believe her eyes, was someone pulling a prank on her? It looks like Taylor Thiefault's phone number was given to another police officer by the network carrier. Can you believe this? The man decided to let Taylor's mom know that he is sorry about her son, and that he is going to change his number. Carol Adler quickly responded and told the police officer that he shouldn't change his phone number because he had the dream job of Taylor. This was meant to be. Carol Adler soon realized that her son saved many lives and that she should be thankful that he got to accomplish his dream before passing away. Carol Adler is proud to say that her son sacrificed his life to save others and she believes that he would do it all again if he had to make the same choice. Even though Taylor Thiefault might not be around anymore, Carol Adler says that she will always keep the memory of her baby boy alive in her heart.